Welcome back to Aliens Dark Descent. Mission already in progress. Wait, both of our guns are down. Is that true? What happened? Fuck. Alright, leaving sentry guns unattended seems bad. It's not too bad again. It's quiet. Too quiet. Well, if they're already smashed, let's get the car in there. Hang on. First and foremost. Move on. Double time. We have no tools left either. Wait, what? Oh, that's a vent. That's why. I was very confused for a moment. Wait, what? That's a Xeno. Dismembered Xeno sitting right there. Can we kill him without triggering something? I have multiple signals. Team, choose me, choose me. Oh, there's multiple. Do they have a person? What happened? Fuck. Oh, there's all sorts of nonsense happening over there in that corner. Okay. Well. Double time. Okay. What a mess. What what a mess. What just just terrible. Um absolutely no tools left. I guess we continue forward and then we try to come back here later to pick up the guns when we extract. Because I'm not sure what else we could try to do right now. More signals incoming. Is there actually something here? Or is it... People over there. Your strength! Tango down! Let's rock! Uh, do we have a cover point here that's worth anything? Answer is fucking nope. Oh, that's a lot of them still coming. Oh, smokes. Oh, the smokes. There's a lot of dudes in here. What the fuck? Uh, I'm sorry. Okay, that's a pick. That's a pick. The melee ones are not that big of a threat. Mostly. That's what I'm worried about. That guy's got a gun, too, though. Come on, team. In the name of Marlo, hunt them down. Take a breather. Watch that stretch. Plus 75. Oh, Jesus. Oh, that guy's got a gun. Oh, kill him. Okay, well, uh, did he shoot us? Yeah, we lost a pip of armor. We have no tools, so we can't control stress at all that way. Um, do I want to use med packs? Maybe. Hmm. 
Why is Latimer's red? Hmm. Cause like Maori's is worse. Alright, I'm thinking... I don't want these guys to all, like, tick over on stress when we're going into, like, a, this next area. If we're fighting a boss soon, I just don't want to be, like, um... I don't want my guys to all get immediately stressed out when we enter a fight. Very weird. This is not very... That's something I'd associate with Alien that much, I gotta say. But, uh... That's certainly a vibe. Is that a chestburster inside the, uh... Yes. Well, that's... Uh, something I... I wasn't expecting. Oh, he's got, like, markings on his arms, too. And the Xenos are totally fine with his presence. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. They're, like, um... Coming in hot. That didn't work. That was too too late. Oh, they fucking went the other way. Okay. Well, okay, could have been worse. Right now, I really love this gun. Here you go. Good as new. Hopefully that's it. Kinda am tempted to pop that last um, I'm ready. last uh, thing there. Check the side room first before we do the objective. You don't have the necessary key card. All right, because we need the key card from the key card guy. This is this is some wild <laughs> shit. That locked elevator you mentioned earlier. Sure. If it was built by the Wayland Yutani, it should. Right. Let's head for that elevator. I thought Mako was not gonna contribute. Wasn't that a thing? We found a prisoner, Sergeant. Good. Ask all the questions. We need more intel. Relax, guys. We're USCM. You're all safe, but I need to know what happened here. I I think they're called the Darren era. Lunatics. They asked about our genes. We got separated, my family. They took them to their temple. Oh, God. I hope they're okay. You need to help them, please. Easy, easy. How about you? Why did they keep you here? I don't know. They took our blood and locked us in here. Told us we'll be lucky enough to meet Cassandra. Be part of her great project. Wait. What did he just say? Pretty sure I heard Cassandra, Chief. Your trap shut, Hunslet. Marines, get these civilians back. Her buddy the hates Hunslet. Come on, team. Oh, um, what the fuck is coming? Roger. Let's see what's inside. Oh, 
Go go visit the the car, please. Okay, they're going out to visit the car. Good. <clears throat> Uh, I don't have any fucking tools. Stay frosty, Marie. How are we doing on uh, objective percentage? 37%, 3 of 7, 0, 1, 6, 12 data pads. Half on materials. I want more progress here. I think. I think we're spotted. Right now. Uh, I doubt, but maybe. Access granted. Yeah, you have two rounds left in your magazine. Just fucking reload. I don't care if Come I lose on, two bullets. The ten and the fourteen, I might let it sit. What is this? Is there a person underneath? Can we go underneath? It doesn't look like it. I'm assuming that's a bug. I'm guessing they clipped through the floor. <laughs> oh, yeah. So the guns, the way we had them set up, the people came in behind them and smashed them. That's why they were both taken out so easily. Because there was nothing covering the back. It was only covering the front. Another physician and engineer. Stay frosty, Marie. More signals incoming. Just thirty-seven percent. Come on, team. Okay, so our new objective is over there. Were there other doors? Okay, let's get the fuck out of this area before we get involved in this fire. Don't need the stress in my life. Um, we could, uh, yeah, let's do this. Because we got more med packs we can pick up on the way to the other door. Well, we're moving out. Let's take a look. I kind of like the idea of maybe leaving the car here for a moment. I guess those guns ain't going anywhere. So med bay room has two um, med packs there. We could check these bodies too, which might get us tools. Yeah, so why don't we do this? Humans to human. Come on, team. And then car. Last support required. Let's go. Hang on. Our ride is coming. Critical hit. Okay. Move on. On it. There was another question mark. Nil, two X nothings, damn. Uh, so this door is open from inside, same with that one. Um, which means, yeah, nothing else to do here. Okay, so we want to get into medical. Shit, it's coming to us. All right, let's just go for it. New sign of the Zeno. Affirmative. 
Let's see what's inside. Come on, team! Alright, still no tools, but we're fully restocked on med kits. We can nap relieve for stress. Oh, and we want to pick the guns up. We can just jump in the car and redeploy to pick the guns up. So that should work. Roger. Let's see what's inside. Fuck it, we can run. Shit, it's coming to us. We do have levels on everybody but Latimer right now. We could leave. That's another one of those guys. We got a weld door to pop. Um, well, if you're just gonna sit there. Oh, we can't reach him with a flamethrower. <laughs> Excellent. Good job, squad. That's what we want to see. We got, um, something coming around the back. I don't think that car is going to get into position to cover us either. Um, move it, 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 move it. Maybe if we just let, let him do his searchy, he'll fuck right off without finding us. Fuck right off without finding us. Fuck right off. Without finding us? Nice. Good job, vehicle. Tools. Okay, we got an elevator. That is where we want to go. This is progression. More stuff there. That opens back that way. Yeah, I'm fine with opening up these hallways. We're, yeah, I'm gonna leave that med kit. I might. Maybe the goal is gonna be to finish up this floor, and then redeploy. Yeah, this doesn't seem to be anything useful. That one will be on the car soon, hopefully, although we just open the door for him if he wants to come this way.
All right. Well. Hmm. We could go peek down on the lower floor temporarily and come back. Thinking about that. A lot of ammo in that wing. There's a med pack over there we didn't grab. Right here. So we'll come back for the guns, clear out that wing for more ammo. Grab that med pack. Let's get back. I want to grab those jeans. I think we will poke our head on the lower level. Got it out. Oh, where'd my car end up? Okay, it's already over there. So we can sort of use the car to like farm Xeno samples, it seems. To some degree. Because people kind of just walk into it. It's working. Stay alert, Marines. We don't know what we'll find in this basement. Move on. Look at that. These guys are nuts. Guess we found that poor guy's family after all. Is there a girl in there? Anything more specific while we're at it, Sarge? She'd be uh, in her teenage years. Blue eyes. And a nose like mine. No containers here. Keep exploring. So, data pads, some more supplies. Inspect the room. Uh, this room. Hold on. Pause. Okay, we've got locked doors. I'm a little concerned by this room. Because it kind of looks like a boss. However, the mission percentage is pretty low. Hold on, is it? 65%. Um, Come on, team. 65%. Do we want to peel out here? I think this might be it. 65%. Everybody's got to level up. We don't have sentry guns. I think we leave. Now we can bring those guns back anytime, right? They'll stay here after we leave, I assume. I'm gonna grab one and leave one. The door's closed, Marines. There must be another entrance next to the ARC. What? Uh so yeah, what was I saying? <laughs> So we load. We're getting the shit. He's less than 10. Yeah. Um, just in case the guns do like despawn for whatever reason, if they're left Don't damage on the map, the I'd like to bring the one with us and use the tool Hurry we have. Because if like a tool is traded for a sentry gun kind of in general, then it might as well be um traded now rather than later. So we'll just pop over there, grab the gun, and then back. I think that's fine. Maybe a little shorter episode then in that case. But, uh... And Xenomorph is still just standing there. <laughs> well, that Xenomorph corpse is still just standing there to be, to be perfectly clear. Yeah. 
god, just the drive-by. <laughs> Lovely. Oh my god, we hit that man with a car. Uh, let's grab the one that's lower on ammo. Because if the one other one uh, gets repaired and stays and everything, we can just... We'll have more ammo in it, right? This one will get refilled back at base, presumably. So we want the one with more ammo left here. That's my logic. Sentry gun fixed. Uh, let's get out of here. Oh, um, we should maybe do this. Okay, let's go nuts. For HP, just in case it matters. All right. Yeah, so everybody ranked up. Six Xeno samples is enough to buy a few bonuses for the next mission. Um, good amount of supplies. This all seems, seems good to me. Now, didn't mention this in the last episode, but when I loaded in today, uh, at the start of a previous episode, I saw a weird cutscene with what I assume was a Praetorian. And so I canceled out and reloaded the save because when we left off, we were just arriving in this area. So I don't know why we had a Praetorian cutscene play on the one load. It loaded like the same saves too, basically. Well, maybe it didn't because I loaded the um, survival save. Maybe there's a different one. But I have no idea what the deal with that is. So we, I expected us to see it soon at some point, but we played for uh, over an hour and a half and it never came up so can't tell you neuron picked up hypochondriac one yeah so that that is a good way to confirm stress pips building up when you're um uh not even like having issues with stress like the stress still builds up overall even if the stress on the mission is not high so i think we've pretty much figured that out for sure but promotions for everybody is good. We've got a lot of medics, so we can get these guys back pretty quick if we do want them. Wait. Okay. Yeah, so six was the, so the sentry gun overcharge and proves the damage of the sentry gun for a tool. Yeah, I mean, so far we haven't had the tools to invest, but... I can see situations where that would be good. It looks like we got the other upgrade here for the drone if we want to push that further. But then you had Team Spirit with Bold Mind of Steel. Heals one trauma point per campaign turn. And Resourceful. I'm sorry, did this change? Did the description change at least? Because I feel like it was described differently previously. Maybe I'm losing my mind. One ammo clip after each rest. Wait, that's different too. Provide one ammo clip after each rest. That was every soldier automatically reloads, right? Am I? Did these change? What the fuck? <laughs> uh, redemption. That gets an HP back. Quick hands is reload. Looter is materials. I think we'll take the reload. In theory, you just don't get attacked and HP doesn't matter. <laughs> I don't know. At the point where we've invested this much time into this soldier, one of our highest leveled ones, do we want the point of HP back? If we look at it like the medic ability we took gives everybody a point of HP, that also takes up like one ability slot, which makes this worth a lot less. I think we'll take reload. I think we'll go we'll stick with the low HP. I think we'll live with that. Or we'll we'll die because of it. One or the other. Hypochondriac is not bad. Just don't use your last med pack and it doesn't matter. And have it I feel good about having a spare med pack. And then if things are so desperate, you need to use every med pack. Like, do you care about a little bit of stress damage? You're probably evacuating anyway at that point. All right, Mr. Medic. 
you hit five. No longer subject to tired, increases max mouth by two. First aid instructor and tough three, health by three, reload or sharpshooter. Accuracy. Uh, we have accuracy here, right? Yeah. I don't see any reason to invest even further in HP. Um, Cause this doesn't stack. Like this isn't five HP. This is a this is turning the two into a three. This is still just one HP. Yeah, we'll do sharpshooter. I think that's fine. Well, then we got some level twos coming in. Okay, disobedient is irrelevant. Did he start with a disobedient stress effect? I didn't even see it. For every two disobedient, the number of maximum command points is reduced by one. Well, the point is, what I was going to say is, as long as we don't have two disobedient, it doesn't matter. Uh, we'll do Unbreakable Will. Yeah, we can bring him back right away. Same with, like, the Medic. I think that's perfectly fine yeah that feels good to me and the bully maximum armor whole squad moves faster or redemption so bully we can play around and i'm perfectly fine playing around bully somebody's got to be the lowest level in the squad and it might as well be this asshole fast it seems pretty good we have fast already on the sergeant I wonder if it stacks. I think we'll do fast. Armor doesn't seem bad either. I like armor a lot more than HP because then you don't get injured, right? So you're back in the field quicker. But also I feel like tired and stress are the big things keeping us out of the field. And like the injuries we're staying pretty well on top of. Um, so in that sense, like, yeah, two engineers and a physician here is pretty damn good. Now, 92.3% undetected. I'm pretty sure that's our best stealth run. We use the car to a lot of effect. Alright, day is done. Four physicians still. Two marines available, two tired, and four wounded. But we can take Have care a nice of that. Um, yeah, let's get the stasis grenade Finally, just for completion's sake. We still can double up on um, upgrades. Oh, extraction device is, is this. It's not... Oh. I thought it was... up. Maybe it, there was also an upgrade we skipped for, for that. But, yeah, maybe I was mixing that up with the research project. Having to pay Xeno samples to be able to bring that into the field kind of sucks. That That's... How do you... Oh, God. I guess if you believe you'll be fighting a queen that makes sense and we can presume there's a hive on the lower level of the mine bringing the extraction device might make sense oh i hate that we have to spend samples on that though that's very concerning stay safe out there administrator hayes so we've got well we just do this this one's a priority. Understood. Because there's, we might as well. Hypochondriac, we're going to let this. This one's a priority. Understood. Might as well get everybody back there. Talk to you soon. Mensana one day, Sains will be Am back. Right? And Smith. McDonald is down for another day, but the other medic is good to go. Yeah. Okay. See that seems around. all good to me. Stay safe, okay? 
Oh, fuck. Heavy pulse rifle? Any class? Level 6 marine. Level 6 marine. RPG? Holy shit. Um, well, we're not going to unlock any of that right now. See you around. Hello, man. All right. So, yeah, I think we're done here. I think we go to the next day. Bye, man. Troops, Eddie. Available PCU slot. Have a nice day. Deputy oh, psychiatric Deputy care unit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I don't want anybody in, in the psych care there. Uh, do we? Wait. Administrator Hayes. Hold on. Hold on. Talk to you soon. Mensana and Cor One day on Shart. Am I right? There's no reason not to put him in here. Yeah. Understood. I'll update right? Or does he come out? They don't come out tired or anything, right? This is just... A good day to you, Administrator. Yeah. Sure. Let's just do that. New objectives are awaiting your review. Usual peak of energy in abandoned outpost relay. Lose deployment, earn 50 materials, 10 Xeno samples, and a random survivor. That seems pretty good to me. That's a lot of samples. And a survivor? No, we definitely have to take that, right? Okay. Promote Marines in the armory. Have a nice day. So that was probably the Definitely person who was training. This one won't let you down. Bravo Zulu. Smartass is an alternate hacker. I don't think we need that. So I think I'm just going to do accuracy. I think I think we can just bring a hacker on most second deployments and call it good. Plus, we probably will just get another techer before too long anyway. So, in intensive training, in therapy, tired. Bye, ma'am. Troops, Eddie. Talk to you soon. Yeah, so you can go in. Understood. I'll update my schedule. I want to leave. I don't want to put Neuron in because I want them for whenever we deploy. See you around. Administrator, what brings you to my lab? Hello, Administrator Hayes. New I would like to get this mission done. Uh, becomes exhausted or gains a random trauma. Rookie B. Martin. Uh, sure, order them to rest. I don't think this matters. Okay. Have a nice day, Deputy Administrator Hayes. Talk to you soon. No injured, only neuron. At all tracks, that's what I expected. What brings you to my lab? Damage is one to two. Two ammo per burst, three ammo per burst. No room and chance point six. No grenade launcher. Okay, uh, let's go, let's prep the mission. Understood. Uploading mission data. So, let's see here. So we'd bring, so Latimer is ready to go. Wait, Jinx, with each burst, the Marine's weapon has a 0.5% chance of jamming. That used to be 50%. So that tooltip was, like, fucking wrong. There's been an update. Hold on. Let me pop over to Steam. When did this happen? First major update was fucking today. Okay, hold on. We're going we're gonna to look through the patch notes real quick. Possibly to skip the prologue, include an option to make the campaign death clock obsolete. What does that mean? Auto save feature when quitting the Otago and many more. Bug fixes major. Air preventing the player to unlock the old Dubai refinery mission. 
Okay, that's a lot of bug fixes. We're not going to read through all these. I'm going to pause, read through the patch notes, and I'm going to come back and discuss any significant changes I see beyond the tooltips you've already seen. Okay, that patch notes are insane. There's like a ton of bug fixes and stuff. Hypochondriacs actually knew this was just added, which is amusing. So yeah, uh, I didn't even see like this tooltip fix or whatever. But um, yeah. Nothing like really substantial that stands out to me in particular. Just a lot of like bug fixes for crashing and other issues we didn't really run into. That kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, it looks really good. Uh, powered. So you're not... Yeah, you're back. I mean, I think we'd rather bring you. So, if we're bringing these four... We have... Yeah, we have room for some various upgrades here. So let's... Let's do that. I can't access that from this menu, can I? Doubt it. Okay. And then popping over to supplies to just take a peek before we go... So we got three sentries here. I think we'll bring two and pick up the third, leave room to pick another one up before we leave in case we find one. I think bringing four would be really good for defensive reasons, but I don't think I want to. Um, so yeah. Um, yeah, let me get out of here, please. Hello, Thank you, Hayes. thank you. Okay. Have a nice day. So, Administrator Hayes. What do we want to do for investment? What did I teach you, Marie? Salute. Thirty. So we could invest a bunch of points into just upgrading these guys um, with abilities use up the upgrade slots or we could get like a heavy pulse rifle, which would be for what the one level six i don't think we want the heavy pulse so i'm thinking we invest in upgrades that's my thought process what did you have precision shot skill no longer generates noise so that's this sniper training no probably so my guess would be associate skill precision shot closest marine equipped with a battle rifle performs an accurate and powerful shot after a one second delay i believe this can snipe things out without being detected i think i think if you kill it you're not revealed So we definitely want, I think, that. Yeah, that ability is kind of weird. Battle scanner. Eh. Accuracy bonuses. Probably want those. Ammo bag, pouches, and wire clip. I want the aiming sight. Let's deck them out. If we do this now, do we get... No, it's still just this is the, the options. Bonus capacity. So far, we haven't really left anything behind. We've been The way we've been playing, it's been fine. Yeah, I'm not sold on any of these as priorities why are these flashing at me oh wait did we not oh these guys probably got promotions this today from um, getting xp for not going down the mission the other day or whatever uh you're probably my gunner then because we don't have a gunner anymore sure somebody's got to be a gunner Trauma, one trauma point per campaign turn. So I'm not sure if, how I feel about this now because like rotating people in and out of like the um, 
the psych ward <laughs> hasn't been that bad. We'll do accuracy for the gunner. Then you're just level Stand two. Tall, this should be the guy who's doing the hardcore training, I think. Uh, stubborn. Wait, what? What just happened? Wait, what? I didn't... Oh, that bastard! Wait, what? Their new attributes are randomly selected? You shit! Well, whatever, we got a looter. That makes him a good person to send out on the first wave, I guess. Because we, we, we can do the go on the main scout mission and he's there for opening boxes and then we just pull him back for the big fight. Actually, that's an interesting strategy. To have like a squad that's just set up for scouting and like looting and then a second squad that's set up just maximum damage output for like the back end of the mission. Could be good. Uh, we're going to bring the Tekker again, so maybe we want to get that drone upgraded. Let's try it. So I think that's basically it, with the exception of like that one slot there, which I'm not feeling anything strongly on. Well, almost everybody's somewhere on levels, which is nice. So we got one rookie left still. Oh, this is the one that had the mental break, right. Oh, and poor health is pretty shit, too. Yeah, okay. Okay. And that leaves us with still 120 supplies for the future you can count on them man operations ready in the following areas all right back to the refinery understood uploading mission so data. yes here for our gun which does look like it's still deployed we can see it uh, i might bring two tools this time so sergeant tecker medic and recon yep we are going out with hypochondriac, but it's whatever. Actually, let's do this. So we'll go up to three sentry guns. That'll put us down to one tool. Let's bring three to back the guns. I want armor, I think, here. Do we want armor and embryo extraction? Wait, what happened to our 10 Xeno samples? Did I use them? No, because we just needed the stasis grenade. Did we get screwed out of our points? Oh god, do I want an extraction device? Like, do we think we're going to fight a third goddamn queen in three missions? I mean, it really feels like there might be a hive. But maybe the hive, well, there's talk about this temple, like a whole ass temple in a lower level. We've only got like three missions left. I'm just going to take plates. I, I don't, I don't think I'm convinced there is a hive here. In this stage, at least. So I wonder if that Praetorian cutscene was connected to the patch. Probably. I wonder why it showed up, though, if I reload the save. I'm also, I'm just surprised we don't see it again. Did 
Great starting spot, I guess. Just blasting a dude. Um, all right. Well, we'll leave this episode here then, under an hour, and we'll uh, pick up here for next one.